In your opinion, how can large social media platforms improve child safeguarding? Basic background checks on new employees. I think Reddit could at least learn that from the news today. By not hiring pedophile sympathizers or protecting them HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash ukepolitics slash comments slash mbbm2c slash welcome underscore back underscore subreddit underscore statement slash utm underscore source equals share and utm underscore medium equals ios underscore app and utm underscore name equals ios smf Realistically kids should not be exposed to the manipulative influence of social media. More realistically large social media platforms would never cut off such a huge market they want to exploit children, not protect them. Same as big tobacco and plenty of other industries that eventually had to have the habit regulated. Out. Not hiring a pedophile supporter would be a good start. For those out of the loop, Reddit recently hired Amy Challoner. HTTPS www.thesun.co.uk slash uncategorized slash 7150725 slash who dash is dash Amy dash Challoner dash why dash was dash she dash suspended dash from dash the dash green party who has a history of promoting and sympathizing with pedophiles. Children shouldn't been on social media. Not everything has to be child-friendly because children shouldn't be allowed to pluck their noses everywhere. That's why there is YouTube Kids. Kids shouldn't be on social media full stop. It's their parents' responsibility to stop them. It should be in all children. Social media is improving over and over to be bad for kids and adults. I will personally chop my kids thumbs off if they ever ask for a phone to all anyone other than 911 or Pizza Hut. In my opinion kids shouldn't be on social media since them being on social media can definitely ruin things for adults since social media sites want to safeguard kids so much even though they most likely know all of the words adults say. I mean have you heard a child speak before especially when gaming? To be honest I think it should be mostly the parents that do it. A kid can always fake his identity. Or say he is something he isn't. 18 plus he he he. So my advice as a IT guy. Just don't let your kids too soon on the internet. And when you let them let them definitely not start with social media platforms and hash x200b. I wish my parents protected me better when I started to use the internet because I once got used by a pedophile that said he was a girl from my age. Happily only online. But still traumatizing. But it's not their fault. My parents are old and don't know much about computers. Artificial intelligence where the AI cross-checks a user's interaction. It's ironic how kids can make social media accounts but you can't get on a beer company's website without proper dob. Not having mods that control massive swaths of the sites. There are a handful of Reddit mods that have power over dozens of subs. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of them were just as degenerate as one might suppose. Background checks for admins or moderators. But let's be honest. Most websites have age restrictions and child still register there because parents can't control them 24-7. People would get frustrated if you need to verify your age. Yet it would be the best possible solution. They can refuse to hire anyone who has aided and abetted crimes against children. Like Amy Challoner. Are social media programs CPS now? What's with the, why doesn't social media do more to stop XYZ or support PQRS, all the time? It's a medium for communicating information. 
not let children below 16 on social platforms if they do find children below 16 parents should be fined. It's affecting their mental health in a bad way. The platforms themselves probably can't do jack shit. And even if they could, they wouldn't unless it was legally required or financially beneficial. A better idea would be to teach children about how to safeguard themselves. Certainly not by circle jerking about the same damn topic for the whole day which will achieve nothing substantial. Of course Reddit fucked this up. But this is getting real annoying. I don't believe for a second they didn't do a background check. It's a fair enough point. Reddit, for example, could look to restricting accounts to 18 plus and banning subreddits like r teenagers. Ah, YouTube kids. Where I found my seven yo watching a Minecraft platform drama involving a boyfriend punching his pregnant girlfriend in the stomach and pushing her down a flight of stairs. Fuck. That. Shit. It. The idea is sometimes that information is pedophiles grooming children. Or people disseminating concerning content about children. Like with, r, jailbait that got shut down. But they must have done something since somehow an, automated, script caught the, harassment. Unless Reddit is hiding a capable AI that creates these things out of thin air. Yes, kinds shouldn't even watch YouTube kids. Holy shot ho did that video even got there? That was a decade ago, and, grooming children? It's an anonymous platform.